As a rule, I'm leaving out Mega Man games from this series because Mega Man is already very well known and pretty consistent in its games. But Rockman and Forte was a long time regarded as the de facto Mega Man 9, and in an odd move by Capcom it came out on Super Famicom instead of PlayStation, where Mega Man 8 had been released, and also as late as 1998, making it part of the last 30 or so games to be released for the system. You can certainly tell by the graphics that this game was made at a time where Capcom were well acquainted with the capabilities of the Super Famicom, as it looks on par with Mega Man 8. Also, maybe taking a page from Mega Man X4, Rockman and Forte offers two playable characters. Mega Man, of course, and Bass, or Bass as I call him. Well, let's just call him Forte here. And he has the edge, in my opinion. And you can even see it as you choose your character in the beginning, as Forte has three abilities displayed where Mega Man has only two, unless you count giving thumbs up as an ability. Mega Man, like usual, can slide and charge up his Mega Buster, but Forte can dash, shoot in eight directions, and double jump. The dash isn't super useful, because unlike the X games, this game isn't really designed for it, but shooting in 8 directions and double jumping is very useful indeed, and is why I usually pick Forte when playing this game. The stages are designed with both in mind though, so there are parts where sliding is absolutely needed, or when double jumping is. The same goes for the placement of the CDs, which is something unique to this game, and honestly one of my main reasons for wanting this localized. It has a hundred CDs you can find that reveal info about all the Robot Masters and characters thus far in the Mega Man series, which is very cool. The info cards show a description, strength, weaknesses, and likes and dislikes, so if you ever wanted to know that Tengu Man likes fly fishing, or that Metal Man dislikes dogs, well, here's your chance. For some reason this game reuses Tengu Man and Astro Man from Mega Man 8, but otherwise the other Robot Masters are all new. Cold Man, Ground Man, Burner Man, Pirate Man, Dynamo Man, and Magic Man. Dr. Wily is a no-show. Instead, an evil robot named King enters the fray and cuts Proto Man in half. But if you're familiar with Mega Man games, you can take an educated guess as to who the final boss will turn out to be. Otherwise though, this is a regular Mega Man game. It's difficult, has good music, and you get weapons from bosses to use on other bosses. Like in Mega Man 7 and 8, there's also a shop where both Mega Man and Bass can uh, sorry, Forte, can buy stuff. Rush and Treble slash Gospel are also available here. Rockman and Forte was seen as Mega Man 9 for a very long time, and we all wondered if it would ever be localized, or if there would ever be a real Mega Man 9. Both actually happened, as Mega Man and Bass was released on Game Boy Advance, Rockman and Forte on Wonders One, by the way, is a different game, and Mega Man 9 was released on WiiWare, PSN, and Xbox Live in 2009. It was followed the next year by Mega Man 10, and then the death of Mega Man.